Welcome to HealthyAyurveda.com. I'm Dr. Mike Dollywall, Vedic Sage, and today we'll discuss about the basic management of pitta dosha. The Sanskrit word pitta comes from the root word tapas, which means heat or to become hot. So pitta, being that of the fire element, is that which creates heat within the body. Tapas also means austerity and concentration, and can be thought of as the fire within the mind, expressed as intelligence, comprehension, knowledge, and understanding. Due to the fire element, pitta is defined with qualities such as hot, sharp, liquid, and oily. Because of these qualities, pittas often experience acidity, irritability, inflammation, fever, hives, rash, and nauseousness. According to Ayurveda, we balance excess by 1. Removing the cause or source of excess qualities and 2. Introducing opposing qualities to that which is in excess. Therefore, the management of pitta types is centered around cooling, calming, and moderation. Cooling balances the hot quality of pitta, and calming and or moderation balances the sharp and intense qualities of pitta. Pitta is increased by foods which are hot, pungent, salty, and sour in taste, as this creates a burning sensation within the body. Certain oils such as sesame and almond oil tends to increase pitta. Wine, liquor, and sour fruits increases pitta. Likewise, spices which are heating will naturally increase and aggravate pitta dosha. It's important to note that certain lifestyle or behavioral considerations can also increase pitta dosha, such as excessive exposure to direct sunlight, certain emotions such as anger, grief, and excessive competitiveness can also increase and aggravate pitta dosha. Therefore, in order to remove the source of excess, one would limit or avoid such causative factors. After Removing such causative factors which can increase pitta, one would then want to consider cooling factors in one's diet and lifestyle. Such considerations include grains such as rice, wheat, barley, mung dal, as these are all cooling. Sweet fruits such as bananas, grapes, apples are also cooling. Certain dairy products such as ghee, milk, and fresh butter are not only delicious but are very cooling for pitta dosha. Additional management for pitta dosha includes cooling herbs with bitter taste such as aloe or dandelion are very beneficial. A light massage with cooling oil such as coconut oil is calming. Taking a shower that causes mild sweating with herbs such as mint is very refreshing. Cool fragrances such as sandalwood or rose is very delightful. And pittas need some time to chill with light entertainment. And of course, yoga and meditation will help to calm down down even the most intense pitta types. Ayurveda explains an interesting relationship between taste with its corresponding therapeutic value. And generally speaking, sweet, bitter, and astringent taste will help to reduce pitta dosha. Okay guys, this is just a very basic introduction on the management of pitta dosha. As we continue discussing these topics, we'll begin discussing these topics in greater detail. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed and until next time, take care.